Taurus and welcome back to Romanopia. So if you can't tell by now by my set, we are actually where I paint. And if that seems a little odd, then this video is going to seem a little odd too. Because today I'm going to be talking about the most commonly asked questions when painting my custom. Customizing recently grew in popularity when, um, if you can't tell by my LPS, when the G2 and G1 LPS stopped being made and were turned into these cute models. Not everyone liked them, so um, people turned to customizing. I personally customize is because I enjoy painting toys and when I paint, I feel like I'm creating my own characters, which I very much enjoy. Also, before I get into the video, thank you so much for the feature for this little guy. She or he is one of my favorites and I'm so happy that she got featured on Amino. And just look at her, she's supposed to be a realistic Yorkie. And after getting my detail brushes, I'm so excited that this is what I created. So, without further ado, let's get started into the video. Question one, how do I remove factory paint from my LPS? There are a lot of things that you can use for this, but personally what I like to use is Maximum Strength Acetone Nail Polish Remover. And basically what this does is that it removes all of the factory paint in a few foul swoops actually. Um, if you have no acetone it won't work and I'm not quite sure what 50% acetone would result in. I'm not even sure if you can buy that but this is definitely what I use to remove all the factory paint in which your LPS will look something like this guy. The Yorkie that you saw on your My Amino, if you saw that, um, was white because it was originally white and if you couldn't tell by the turtle most of my customs have this easy to remove, um, just bare bone custom. So you won't see me using like an actual full on like rare LPS or anything like that. I haven't bought any fakes yet, so that's why you don't see any rare models being used here. Um, ah, she, she loves to fall. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I do for paint. Second most asked question is how I paint like this, basically how I paint it all. And if I can go into the back real quick, let me be right back. The main brushes I use are this detail brush, little, this little guy, little focus in, focus buddy. There you go. This brush helps with the eyes, but it also can just help when you're painting around the eyes and you don't want to get any paint in the eyes. So let me move on to the next brush this detail brush. I don't even know if it's possible to focus onto this. Um, oh, it is? Okay. So, this little guy is very small and very hard to focus in on, and this is what I paint my eyes with. So when you're trying to get really small details, like this, where the black transfers over to the blue, it's very important that you have a very small brush, so you can easily get into those crevices and make sure that the eyes look great. For the rest of the custom, I use these brushes, which are a lot bigger, as you can tell. And I just want to put here that you really need to clean these brushes so that you don't damage them. Because when you're using paint and you don't wash them off, it'll get dry and you won't be able to get the paint off. And finally, this little guy, which is an angled brush. And there's a little paint on the end there. Don't mind that. As long as it's on the end, we're good. Um, there isn't much to say about this angled brush. I use it to get into uh, crevices that are bigger than, you know, the average, so I don't have to use my detail brush. But at the same time, I don't want to uh, go too big with a huge brush. The third most asked question is basically, what paints do I specifically use? You know, when I was little, I used to use nail polish, and of course that never worked, and it actually damaged the LPS to the point where I couldn't repair it, even with the nail polish remover. So the paint that I use now is acrylics, but a few people ask specifically what brand, and if you can't tell by these two customs, these are the differences between one type of paint and another. So let's get into what the differences are between these two brands. So Speckles version one is, well, not in pretty good shape. She has a few marks that are definitely chipping and <laughs> she really is in need of a makeover, which is why I did make her over. <laughs> And she is really cute, but sadly, her paint is awful. You can also tell that there are streak marks in the paint, which are not optimal. So basically, the brand that I used for her was called Craft Paint. And it was actually a gift from my grandmother at the time. 
and I painted her and I was really excited and it just came out ugly. Um, not that anyone else's customs are ugly because they use craft paint. There's just a right way and a wrong way to use it and I personally find this custom to be kind of ugly looking. But here we have our improved version with a different brand. And here she is, and you probably saw this on my Amino. If you haven't yet, this is Speckles version 2, and she is adorable. And if you can't tell, you can tell that the paint is not chipping on her, and you can also tell that the paint is very smooth. And how I got it that smooth was the Martha Stewart type paints. Now in the next clip, I'm going to show you what those paints look like so you know the difference. If you can see this, here is the paint used on this pet and here is the paint used on this pet. Um, the camera's actually making this a little darker, but they're really similar in color, and I guess that's why she turned out a little darker too. They're really similar though. And the Martha Stewart paint came out smooth, and the Craft Smart came out like this. And if you can't tell, obviously I've improved quite a bit since then also, but a lot of it is because of the paint. So let's move on to our last question dash. Now for our fourth and last question, it's actually not been asked, but I personally found a little bit of a problem when I started painting with this. So just in case anybody else has this question or problem with theirs, I just wanted to bring it up. And basically that is how do I get the dots like this on the eyes? You know, make them look like they're pets, not, you know, messy or whatever. So what I basically do is I take a brush like this, not my detail brushes, and if you can't tell already, this end is white. And the reason it is white is because what I do, focus, what I do is I stamp it with white paint and then I just stamp it onto the eyes basically. So it just stamps right on there. And that is the easiest way to make those little dots in the eyes and I do it on almost every pet even my little Yorkie baby I did hers and I just used less paint on the bottom but I use the same brush and that's just how I get the whites in the eyes. Those are all the tips that I can give you for today. I hope you liked watching our video and if you couldn't tell by my name I am a new crew member and I handle the customs and if you'd like to see more of me and the others please check out my amino at roaming LPS. See you guys later. Bye bye.